dolly lovers and welcome back to my channel it is my much awaited baby reveal of trinity leclaire she came in the mail yesterday which was um may 17th and today's the 18th um I put her together and she is ready. So since I've already seen her, I am patient enough to do this baby reveal the old-fashioned way, which is to start from the feet up so I can torture you guys. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Easton six-month size sculpt by Michelle Fagan. And she was lovingly reborn by Jody Slater of Heavenly Butterflies Nursery in Texas. And um, I wanted her to be a dark skin tone. And actually, she's around my skin tone pretty much exactly, which is amazing. So these are her little feet. And the detailing is so beautiful, you guys. The camera doesn't do it justice with the little veins. And blushing, and you can see the center of her feet have blue, and oh, she's just gorgeous, you guys. And it was so, such a really good experience putting her together myself. I really didn't get to bond with her, even though she was headless for a while, while I glued down her eyelashes in the inside. Uh, I fell in love with just her arms and legs. <laughs> And I dressed her body and everything, and she sat there for a while without a head while it dried. But it was definitely worth the wait. Her hands are so beautiful. And um, she does have the same limbs as Taya, who Michelle Fagan also made that sculpt. Just she has a sleeping sweet face and a baby bald head. A lot of my close reborn mom friends have asked if I'm going to get hair put on her. And as of right now, the answer is no. I've seen a lot of Eastons before and after hair. And I always liked the before when they were bald. So right now I'm deciding that I really, really like her bald. Look at that detailing. That shading is awesome. The modeling is so nice. But as of right now, her head's going to stay bald, and I really like it. It's low maintenance, so there she is. She is so precious, you guys. I originally did not intend on getting this sculpt for my collection, but I showed a picture of her. Uh, another sculpt done by Deborah Jaddick and she my mom fell in love she said it looks so much like me when i was a baby so of course i had to have her and she just loves her my mom loves her with no hair and her eyebrows are gorgeous they're thickly painted just like i wanted her eyelashes are thickly rooted beautiful beautiful little lips her shading and coloring is so awesome i did pierce her little ears when she got home um i have taken apart and put back together uh a few of my dolls before so i wasn't nervous at all to put trinity together but a few things that I would do differently. For one, I put the necktie on a little too tight. So it's not as easy to turn her head. But she does turn. And I wish I would have put more, maybe a little more weighting in the head. So a little more polyfill and a little more of the glass beads in her head. Just to make it a little bit more heavier. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job. She feels so good. I didn't want her to be as heavy as Taya since... I don't know. I just didn't want her to be as heavy as Taya. And Taya, to me, looks a little bit older. And since this baby doesn't have hair, I thought maybe she should be a little lighter. So I made her a little lighter in weight. And she is awesome. I also put 
baby scented wafers in her so she smells amazing and i got all my waiting materials from bountiful baby which i highly recommend if you're going to be putting together your own dolls the polyfill was so soft the glass beads were finely ground but not so that they wouldn't stay in the stockings which is awesome i've had that problem before where the glass beads are so finely milled that they just leak through the stocking and the stockings i got from bountiful baby for were very um sturdy yet and durable and nothing leaked out <clears throat> so this is my baby trinity i hope you guys love her as much as i do i can't wait to do more videos with her i really think i'm going to take her with me on my doll meetup um which is coming next month um everybody wants to see baby shamar since he's probably think going to be the only boy there so he's definitely going and i have room for one other and i really think i'm going to take trinity because i don't know she's a new baby and she's exciting it's always like that when you get new babies so i love her and i feel like i'm out of breath like <laughs> i'm always out of breath when i'm excited but there she is she's so adorable um she probably won't have a details video um this is pretty much it revealing her here um let me see if i could lift her up so you can see the back of her head <clears throat> um the worst camera person you guys know that but, um, I don't know how much of this you can see, but, like, the shading on her neck and ears is so awesome. So realistic. But I will have photos, hopefully, at the end of this video. <clears throat> but, um, I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit because it's really hot outside. And I've taken Taya out before, and it was almost too hot, so... There she is, you guys. I hope you love her, Miss Trinity LeClaire. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.